The casting process for the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon involved meticulous selection of key actors for their roles. Each actor went through auditions and chemistry tests to ensure they fit their characters perfectly. The pivotal moments that defined the casting decisions included observing how well actors embodied the essence of their roles and interacted with each other on screen. These tests helped the filmmakers determine the best fit for each character, creating a cohesive and compelling ensemble for the film. The directorial vision behind the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon was to create a suspenseful and chilling atmosphere that would captivate audiences. Drawing inspiration from classic horror films and psychological thrillers, the director infused the film with a sense of mystery and terror. Their creative influences included master filmmakers of the genre, leading to a unique style that combined elements of supernatural horror with psychological tension. In collaborating with the cast and crew, the director focused on creating a cohesive team dedicated to bringing the story to life. Encouraging a deep understanding of the characters and plot, the director's approach fostered a sense of authenticity and immersion in the eerie world of the film. By working closely with the actors to convey the right emotions and reactions, the director ensured that each scene contributed to the overall sense of dread and suspense. In 1957, the movie Curse of the Demon was released, known for its thrilling and mysterious plot. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up, so keep watching this video. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. During the production of the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon, the set design aimed to create a mysterious and eerie atmosphere. The locations used for filming included old houses, forests, and eerie landscapes to enhance the supernatural elements of the story. Logistical challenges arose due to unpredictable weather conditions and the need to coordinate complex special effects. Innovative techniques like using miniatures and optical illusions were employed to create impressive visual effects, adding to the suspense and horror of the film. The team's creative approach and dedication to details brought this classic to life on the screen. Curse of the Demon is a classic horror film that captivates audiences with its suspenseful storyline and chilling atmosphere. The movie revolves around a determined skeptic, Dr. John Holden, who finds himself entangled in a web of supernatural occurrences while investigating a mysterious cool lieutenant as he delves deeper into the case, Dr. Holden discovers sinister forces at play, leading to a gripping battle between logic and the unknown. The film masterfully builds tension through subtle details and eerie encounters, keeping viewers on the edge of their seat. With its moody cinematography and unhaunting soundtrack, Curse of the Demon creates a palpable sense of unease that lingers long after the credits roll. Fans of classic horror will appreciate the film's atmospheric storytelling and the timeless theme of confronting one's deepest fears. Curse of the Demon remains a standout in the genre, showcasing the power of suspense and the allure of the supernatural in cinema. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon were meticulously crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the film. Composers and musicians worked collaboratively to create a haunting and suspenseful atmosphere that perfectly matched the eerie elements of the story. The music seamlessly integrated with the scenes, building tension and creating a sense of foreboding throughout the movie. Composers utilized a mix of orchestral arrangements, percussion, and leap motifs to evoke fear and suspense in the audience, adding depth to the overall viewing experience. By paying close attention to the nuances of each scene, the music effectively heightened the suspense and horror elements of the film, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. Maurice Denham began his career installing lifts before gaining fame. Niall McGuinness returned to medicine before his passing. Dana Andrews reached such heights that a town considered renaming itself in his honor, prompting a witty response from its mayor. 
These actors' lives intertwined with their work in the influential 1957 film Curse of the Demon. In the movie Curse of the Demon, one iconic scene that stands out is the climactic confrontation between the protagonist and the demon in the woods. The direction in this scene builds tension masterfully, with ominous music and eerie lighting setting the stage for the supernatural encounter. The performance of the actors is intense, conveying fear and desperation as they face the demon. Cinematography plays a crucial role in capturing the suspense of the moment, with dynamic camera angles heightening the sense of danger. The impact on the audience is palpable, as they are drawn into the heart-pounding battle between good and evil. Filmmakers and actors have lauded this scene for its ability to evoke genuine terror and excitement in viewers, making it a standout moment in the film. In this classic, the film's lead, after a downturn in his acting career, ventured into real estate with a partner, constructing his first apartment building. In another movie, a character portrayed by an actor in this classic takes his own life, leaving behind a poignant snapshot in his wallet. An interesting nod to a famous scene in Citizen Kane is spotted in a shot of a child's snow sled in the attic as a clever illusion. These intriguing details add depth to the narrative and showcase the talent and connections of the cast and crew involved in this classic horror film. Curse of the Demon was a 1957 movie that left a lasting impact on both cultural and social fronts. The film captivated audiences with its suspenseful storytelling and eerie atmosphere. Its influence on pop culture can be seen in subsequent horror films that drew inspiration from its supernatural themes and tension-building technique. Moreover, the movie sparked discussions on fear, the unknown, and the human psyche, contributing to broader conversations about psychology and belief systems in society. Through its storytelling and visual elements, the film resonated with viewers, sparking a sense of intrigue and fascination that endured over time. Its legacy continues to shape how we perceive and consume horror media today. In this classic, Peggy Cummins had an actress mother and a father who was a journalist and music teacher. Brian Wilde, known for his socially aspiring comedy characters, excelled at delivering convoluted dialogue in shows like Last of the Summer Wine and Porridge. Percy Herbert, a British soldier in World War II, endured capture by the Japanese Army and internment in a POW camp for four years, once spending six months in confinement for stealing a tin of corned beef. Curse of the Demon, released in 1957, received mixed critical reception. While some reviews praised its suspenseful plot and effective use of atmosphere, others criticized its special effects as being underwhelming. Audience reactions were similarly split, with some viewers finding it thrilling and others feeling let down. Despite the mixed reviews, Curse of the Demon did receive recognition in the form of an award nomination. The film was nominated for the Best Horror Film Saturn Award in 1970. This nomination signifies that within the horror genre, the movie was considered noteworthy and deserving of recognition. For those involved in Curse of the Demon, such accolades, even if just a nomination, can validate their hard work and dedication to creating a memorable piece of cinema. It can boost morale and serve as a marker of their contribution to the industry, encouraging them to continue pursuing excellence in their craft. Taking a look at the interesting background of the film, it is known that Percy Herbert was considered for a role in a different movie called Life Force in 1985. In a spine-chilling scene, a little boy dressed as a skeleton startles both the characters Carswell and Dana Andrews by appearing suddenly behind a tree and letting out a scream. This tactic of creating suspense through sudden shocks is reminiscent of director Jacques Tourneur's techniques in other films like Cat People and The Leopard Man possibly inspired by his producer Val Luton. Additionally, Dana Andrews is referenced in the opening song of a popular film called The Rocky Horror Picture Show with the line science fiction. During the filming of Curse of the Demon, there was an interesting incident involving a scene where the demon was supposed to materialize out of the fog. However, due to a malfunction with the fog machine, the demon actor ended up getting covered in way too much fog creating a comical moment on set. 
Another amusing anecdote is when the lead actress accidentally tripped over her own dress during a serious scene, causing the entire cast and crew to burst out laughing. Despite these mishaps, the film's production was filled with camaraderie and shared moments that made the experience memorable for everyone involved. Dana Andrews spent his final years in a nursing facility in Los Alamitos, CA, battling Alzheimer's disease. During a visit from his close friend Burt Lancaster, Lancaster suffered a paralyzing stroke, leading to his eventual passing two years later. Andrews' biography can be found in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives on pages 22-23, published in 2001 by Charles Scribner's sons. In the movie, Joanna Harrington's license plate features the number 666, symbolizing the traditional number of the beast. In 1957, Curse of the Demon made its mark in film history, leaving a lasting legacy. This classic has influenced future filmmaking with its suspenseful storytelling and eerie atmosphere. Many subsequent works drew inspiration from the movie's effective use of tension and supernatural elements. It continues to be celebrated for its impact on the horror genre and is remembered for its contribution to cinematic history. Jacques Tourneur, the director of this classic, initially intended not to fully reveal the monster on screen, opting to let viewers' imaginations fill in the gaps. Despite his plans, the studio insisted on showcasing the demon, a decision made after Tourneur had completed filming. This intrusion led to sequences featuring the demon being shot without Turner's involvement, except for one scene in the wood. Turner believed the monster should have been gradually unveiled to maintain its mystique. The movie was based on the story, Casting the Runes, which was adapted into a radio play and televised twice in the UK. It was later used as the basis for Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell, though the inspiration was not explicitly credited. Notably, Renowned filmmaker Martin Scorsese considers this film one of his favorite horror movies. Percy Herbert, with his World War II experience, advised on the bridge on the River Kwai. Dana Andrews mistakenly attributed the story to Oliver Onions. It's actually based on M. R. James's work. Jacques Tourneur selected Dana Andrews as the lead over Robert Taylor. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the movie production. In 1957, the movie Curse of the Demon was enriched by Maurice Denham's meticulous record-keeping of his acting experiences. Dana Andrews, renowned for his collaborations with Jean Tierney, notably starred alongside her in five films. Tragically, Andrews faced personal loss as his first wife, Janet Murray, succumbed to pneumonia in 1935. Their eldest son, David, pursued a musical career but met an untimely end in 1964 due to a cerebral incident. Janet, hailing from an affluent background in Iowa, rests beside their second son, who passed away shortly after birth. These personal stories intertwine with the legacy of this classic film, adding depth and resonance to its narrative. In a famous song from a 1975 show, a reference to the main actor's quirky eating habits is made. The writer of this classic was upset about alterations made to his work by the producer, expressing a strong sentiment. At an exclusive screening of this classic in 2006, the lead actress wowed attendees with her timeless elegance, contributing to the event's success. Dana Andrews, the older brother of Steve Forrest, had three other brothers. All survived at the time of his death. Peggy Cummins' filming duration on Forever Amber is a topic of discrepancy. Reports vary. Look Magazine stated 39 days, Philip Dunn remembered 6 to 10 days, and Vincent Price mentioned 2 months. However, the February 1989 films in review supports Price's 2-month estimate due to numerous production stills taken. Brian Wilde studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. In the 1950s, Dana Andrews held the position of President of the Screen Actors Guild. The British horror film, widely considered one of the best of its time, featured a demon whose image became iconic in the genre. Despite being inspired by M. R. James' casting of the runes, the movie deviates significantly from its source material. This classic from 1957 remains a standout in the history of horror cinema. In the U.S., Night of the Demon was renamed Curse of the Demon before its release, 
and trimmed from 95 to 82 minutes. It was often paired with The Revenge of Frankenstein or the true story of Lynn Stewart as a double feature. Dana Andrews, the lead actor, had a challenging journey to becoming an actor, starting with various odd jobs and rejections from studios and acting schools. In The Burbs, a character references a book titled The Theory and Practice of Demonology, supposedly written by Julian Carswell, a nod to this classic film. In this classic, Julian Carswell, the devil cult leader, draws inspiration from Aleister Crowley. The film showcases a futuristic Heathrow airport on the brink of the jet age. While a Halloween party is depicted, large-scale Halloween celebrations in the UK were still years away. Instead, British children anticipated Bonfire Night on November 5th, commemorating Guy Fawkes' historic attempt to blow up Parliament in 1605. This traditional festival involved bonfires, fireworks, and guising, where children dressed up and performed for treats. Lanterns were carved from turnips, as pumpkins were not yet common in the region. Are you a fan of the 1957 movie Curse of the Demon? Share your thoughts and experiences with us on how this classic film influenced your love for cinema. Let's dive into a world of suspense, mystery, and cinematic magic together. Your memories could spark lively discussions and inspire others to explore the wonders of this captivating movie. Don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating cinematic journeys. Your voice matters. Let's celebrate the impact of this legendary film on our shared passion for the silver screen.